As part of our tech stack, Sturdy Code and I decided to use React. React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. So the creators of React have great documentation, so I'm going to start by reading that. If you can write hello world, hello, hello, you can hello change the world. world. So let's create our new React app. Luckily for us, there's a command that we can run that will create our React app for us in literally seconds. So before we can use this command, we must make sure that on our local machines, we have a node version that is greater than or equal to 8 and an NPM version that is greater than or equal to 5.6. So to see what version of node and NPM that you have, you need to open up your terminal. On an Apple computer, you can get to your terminal by hitting Spotlight and typing in Terminal. Once your terminal is open, you can check what version of Node and NPM that you have by running the commands Node space dash dash version and NPM space dash dash version, and those will give you the versions. We can now run the Create React App command in our terminal. All I did was copy and paste this command from online into my terminal on the command line. This will create our project. Ha, spoke too soon, we got an error folks. So from reading the error message, I was using the wrong version of Node, which is kind of confusing because the doc said I could use that version. So what I did was I just read the error message and I was like, okay, let me use a different version of Node. So I'll speed this part up, but this is basically me installing a version I can use and then actually using it. Okay, so now we're going to try running the command again, and I actually noticed that the first time around, I was going to call the application my app, because that's what Create React App takes, the name of the application, but instead I want to call it Everything Black Entertainment, because that's the actual name of the project that I'm creating. So now I am running the command, and you'll see that it is successful this time. So the command was a success, woot woot. So now I use the ls command to list out everything that is in the current directory that I'm in. And as you can see, everything black entertainment is there. So this is good so far. So now I actually want to see everything that's inside everything black entertainment. So what I do was I use the cd command to change directory or change folders into that project. So now that I am in the everything black entertainment folder, Let's look at some of the stuff that's inside. So we use the ls command to see all the different folders and files that are in that project. And now we actually opened one of the files, which is the readme. So I use the vi command in order to open this file up, but don't worry too much about that. I'm just trying to show you the power of Create React App and how we really just have a project now that we can use to our liking. So here I am showing you another file that we got from running the create react app command. And as you can see here, it is a functional component. I will cover that more in a future video, but what I'm going to do is change the text here to show you guys that we can build off of the project that we get from running that command. So for the rest of this project, I'm actually not going to use VI just because I would rather use a code editor that's more um, pretty, I guess, with different colors. So what I'm going to do now is I'm using Visual Studio Code. That is my editor of choice for this project. And I'm actually opening the project. So I'm opening everything black entertainment. So now you can see on the left hand side, you can see the project structure. So we have the node modules, we have different folders like public and source. And inside the source folder, we can actually open app.js and you can see it has the modification that we made earlier with the VI editor. So we change the text to learn react with Maya Bello and sturdy code. Okay, so now I'm ready to start the server so we can see what our code looks like. So I just go back to the documentation and I'm just making sure that I followed all of the steps. So for example, I'm going to open up the terminal, the terminal that Visual Studio Code has built in. And what I do is I just print my working directory, pwd, make sure I'm in the correct spot, I'm in the correct folder. 
And now what I'm going to do is run the command npm start. So I'm just copying and pasting that into my terminal on the command line. Okay, so drum roll please. Ba -da 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 -da. Yay, okay. As you can see, we're running locally. Everything compiled successfully. And what I'm going to do is type out the famous words, hello world, and we will see hello world display on the screen. Amazing. As a side note, let me know what you guys think of this video so far, if you made it up to this point. I hope it's not too boring. I just thought it would be really cool if we just created an app together, you know, just because people could add this to their portfolio or they can just learn something new. So if you like this video, please let me know so I can make more videos like this. So as you all know, I am creating this or working on this project with Sturdy Code, who is another software engineer YouTuber. So another decision that we made, other than using React for our UI, is that we're going to use GitHub in order to create a backup for our project and in order to work collaboratively. Okay, so the next step that I am doing is I'm going to take the code that's on my laptop, that's on my local machine, and I'm going to push it onto GitHub. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the command that I saw online and I'm just running it locally. So y'all, so now I'm about to make a mistake. So I want you to pause the video right then and there and see what I forget to do. So what I do is I add all of the code and then I push the code, but I forgot one important Git step. And I actually have a video on Git and GitHub. So if you haven't already seen that, check that out. Okay, so back to what we were doing. So as you can see, I just pushed the code. So I just basically, you can think of uploaded the code from my local machine, my laptop to GitHub. So I'm just doing a quick little sanity check because I saw that it was updated 35 minutes ago. So I was like, hmm, that doesn't seem right. So I see that it doesn't have some of like the content changes that I made in the editor on my local machine. So what I do is I go back to my editor to see what's going on and I run the command get status to see the status, you know, and then I could see that I have a modified file still there. So what I did was I realized my mistake and I make a commit. So I'm doing the command git commit and then I'm writing a commit message. So then after I do this and then after I run the command git push, you can see that my copy that is on GitHub is correctly updated. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add sturdy code as a collaborator to this project. So what I'm doing is I'm just navigating to settings, manage access, and I'm typing in his username so I can give him an invite. Okay, y'all, we have already done so much in this video. So we have initialized our project through running the command create react app. We then later shared our project or created a backup through putting it on GitHub. So now what we're going to do is we're going to deploy our project. So to do this, we are going to use Heroku. So y'all, I think the hardest part of this so far has been logging in. Like when I try logging in on GitHub and now Heroku, it just be causing me problems. Okay, I logged in. Yes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new app. So you can see I'm clicking the new button, create new app. And now I'm going to put in the app name. So I've been calling everything, everything black entertainment. So I'm going to keep doing that in order to stay consistent. So I'm just going through these steps here, adding this to the staging area. Honestly, I just guessed what I was supposed to put for that and it worked. So yeah, so I'm just doing that. And next what I'm going to do is going to connect the GitHub project to Heroku. So you can see that is exactly what I'm doing here. I am just connecting everything. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up automatic deploys. So once I push my code or Sturdy Code pushes his code and GitHub, like that master branch is updated, I want it to also update Heroku. So that's what I'm setting up here. And then finally, I'm running a manual deploy. So the reason why I am deploying this application is that so you guys can see it. 
so that you guys will have a specific URL that you can go to so you can stay updated on the progress that we make on this app. And there you have it. Feel free to visit everythingblackentertainment.herokuapp.com to stay updated. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know and I will see you in the next one.